fast food packaging and water fountains. Parts of American life and some of the common places PFAS are found. ASU chemistry professor Tim Long says there's a reason PFAS are called forever chemicals. They don't degrade in the environment. They don't degrade in us. We took to a Phoenix park to find out if people are concerned about forever chemicals. Honestly, I probably would just have to learn more about it and research before I completely say it's terrible, but based on what I've heard, like that does sound, you know, not great. If they're negative, I wouldn't want them in me forever. This week, the EPA designated two types of forever chemicals, PFOS and PFOA, as hazardous substances. The move will allow the agency to take action on contaminated sites, speed up cleanup efforts, and make manufacturers who contributed to the problem pay for it all. This has been an issue that's been lingering for many years, uh, but now we're recognizing, you know, kind of the environmental consequences and the consequences on human health. Experts are still working to learn how much people are actually exposed to forever chemicals and just how harmful they are to us and the environment. But early studies show they can cause negative effects on the liver and immune system. Long says forever chemicals are something that needs to be addressed as soon as possible. I think it's happening now, and I think people should feel confident, right, that the scientific community is, is on top of this. And, and so is our federal agencies around the country. And as everyone, including us and the experts, continue to learn more about the long-term impacts of PFAS, there are some things you can do right now to limit your exposure, such as doing research on your own on how your public drinking water system is addressing forever chemicals. And check if companies you buy some consumer products for, those cookware, uh, hygiene products we talked about, if they have some PFAS-free products as well. For now reporting, Zach Prolutsky for Arizona's Family. Thanks, Zach. Definitely.